You're listening to the Market Update with MoneyWeb, brought to you by Discovery Invest. And uh, first, a correction before we get into our next story. Kulebusi Zuma, who's the chairperson, uh, chairman of Aurora Empowerment Systems, which is doing the reverse take uh, or putting an asset into Senmag, listed in the JSE, is not the son, but the nephew of the president. And uh, as I said earlier, the CEO of the company, uh, Zondwa Mandela, is the grandson of Nelson Mandela. Kulebusi, good to have you here in the studio. It's a fascinating yeah, business. Yeah. Where, did you, where did you find these uh, investors in your company? One, one director from Malaysia, another one from the UAE? Yes, definitely. They, are my, they were actually my friends. Then turned to uh, business partners. Mm-hmm. And how much? That was about 2001. We met them on about 2001. So you've been together for quite We've been some together. time. We, they do have the trust that is needed for them to invest here. And with the, uh, in the Stock Exchange News Service report today, Aurora, your business, is described yes. as well capitalized, uh, a young growing company that's going to invest in emerging markets. How much money have you got at your disposal? Maybe I should answer the reciprocal of that. The reciprocal of that is that we are so ambitious. In about five to ten years, we'll be doing in the region of about five billion to ten billion US dollars. Five to ten billion US dollars. So yes. you must have deep pockets. Where Definitely does the money our, come our, from? Our pockets are, are, are deep. Where does the money come from? From our partners, from our international partners. And where, what is their background? Their background, I, I, I not eager to answer that one. Uh, because of so many reasons. But we are going to invite them in here in South Africa. You will be at liberty to interview them. Mm, but is it, are they legitimate? Definitely um, legitimate, my brother. You can, in fact, in the stock exchange, you submit their names, you can do your own research. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. it's, and they have they big, big uh, reputable business people in their own countries? Definitely. If I could just maybe, uh, wa- just one of them, is, is an experience, uh, he has from founded banks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you guys know about the forestry sector? Because this is your first deal that you did. Definitely, my brother. This is the first out of a stream of acquisitions that we are going to be doing uh, in the next, in, in the near future. Uh, this one is just to signal an impact of the company that is going to have in the SADC region. We are really going to be operating in the SADC and focus on the SADC region. And how did you find uh, the Redwood Timber Merchants? I see there's the Nas Grimbiak family. Sounds right. like a good Afrikaans name there <laughs> that, that was the former owner. I must thank him. He's been very good to us in the negotiations of the deal. And uh, he's, a, he's a very wonderful person. He's the owner of the Redwood Timber Merchants. And uh, we have uh, made an agreement with him. And uh, it's, it's, uh, can I, I just want to explain how the deal went through. He, he needed immediately uh, 32 million rents to circle his debt and other things that we provided through issuing uh, shares and our international uh, partners funded that 32 million and uh, he has given us a profit warranty of 20 million rents per annum which is a great plus to especially to our investors what if what if the company doesn't make the 20 million rand if the company doesn't make it in 20 million rand for the next three years, as, as you've got your warranties. Yeah, that is why we are going to pay him 20 million rands per annum for the next three years. All right, so it's a staggered payment. It's a staggered that, that payment. he will receive. Exactly. And then after three years, you own the company. After Lockstock three years, you own the company. Are you going to be doing other deals through Senmag? Definitely through Senmag. You're Senmag using that as the as the vehicle. As, a, as our vehicle, yes. And you you mentioned in the Stock Exchange News report that you're looking at strategic industries. Strategic what, industries. What, what sectors in particular? Uh, uh, oil industries, uh, mining, uh, so many industries that you are really tra- targeting. Now the names, your name, the, your surname, and yes. your CEO surname, Zuma and Mandela, is like a dream team in South Africa today. Definitely. Uh, are you able to leverage your surnames, or are you kind of businessmen <laughs> in your own right? No, we are we are businessmen in our own right, my brother. We, I have been friends with Zonda for a long time. And only this year that we decided that we and our international partners will really go big in business. Mm-hmm. What, is, what businesses have you run up to now? Uh, that is in my personal... You and Zonda. Mm-hmm. In my, no, no, no. We, this is the first one. Uh-huh. But in my personal capacity, I've run so many businesses before. In what, what kind of business? In the development field, in the infrastructural field. I've been involved in all those businesses. In the transport industry, I've been involved. I'm involved in gaming as well with the, my strategic partner, Galaxy. So many things. Have you always been interested in business from a young age? Definitely, my brother. That's why I chose not to concentrate too much into politics. 
Kulibuse Zuma, who's the nephew of the President Jacob Zuma. He's the chairman of Aurora Empowerment Systems. David, well, there's an interesting play for you. Uh, lots of ambition. I, I'm, I'm glad he called you my brother and not comrade. I would have been a bit, I would have been a bit worried about that. <laughs>